Hello. Digital disruption has changed every industry, from the way we do business down to the way we operate within. Building API programs might start with a focus on choosing the right technology and IT implementation, but like most strategic initiatives, they require strong leadership within the company to drive digital acumen and organizational alignment. In this course, we're going to walk through a tool we use called Apogee Compass, which combined with your leadership can help you navigate and bring other leaders in your company together to make real progress on your digital strategy. The famous management guru consultant and author Peter Drucker says, culture eats strategy for breakfast. You know this from experiences within your company as well. In many years of coaching our customers to drive API and digital strategy, the concerns of legacy culture and its ability to slow down change is a challenge often faced. So, throw away your digital roadmap and pause your digital strategy presentation. Take a step back and look at the leadership within your company. Culture is shaped by leaders. In our work with many different companies, small and large, top management is pretty savvy about what needs to be done. CEOs and business leaders are pushing the company to be more customer-centric, to develop partnerships and take advantage of new digital ecosystems to compete better and open new opportunities for growth. IT and technology leaders are similarly savvy. They understand that competitive advantage can come from within, and technology, more than ever, can give a company an edge in speed, agility, innovation that the business is looking for. So where's the issue? Well, when business and IT leaders come together to plan and strategize, clear gaps can form. The aspirations of both groups take both on different trajectories, and it's easy to lapse to those traditional organizational silos. But the larger the organization, the harder it is to get on the same page about how to proceed. Staying in these silos often creates misalignment on where to focus and how to go about it. There's never just one way to win. You ever been in a meeting and the business and IT weren't present, but really should have been, but instead now there are three more meetings to discuss the same topic? What about when funding and KPIs are involved? How are things are split and how much debate was there about who's responsible? Even within IT, how often do you debate architecture modernization and reduction of technical debt versus putting resource focus on new applications for digital? None of these debates are bad. They're just inefficient. Each time legacy culture gets in the way, this slows you down and your organization's progress and speed. Recognizing this dysfunction exists in countless organizations, Google has developed a tool called Apogee Compass. It's both a diagnostic as well as a recommendation tool that can take online individually or with a team. We often sit down with our customers to use Compass together or set up a group discussion about the results from the assessment. It's a simple but amazingly effective way of inviting leaders across the company to talk openly and discuss together. So how does Compass work? Well, through the combined experiences of working with hundreds of companies globally, we identify 10 critical dimensions of digital maturity. Using a multiple choice question format, the tools the user goes through, each dimension asking them to answer from their perspective about the current state of their company. Each question has four options to choose from. In each dimension, the four levels radiate out from the center of the radar chart. The outer level is strongly associated with operating as a successful digital enterprise. The inner level describes a pre-digital organization. And the two middle levels are common patterns that show promise but should be treated as transitional, not as the final targets. The outcome is a composite of all the responses yielding a score based on weighted values for each dimension of maturity. This score allows a top-line comparison or benchmark to leaders versus laggards. At the end of the assessment, Compass produces a tailored and prioritized set of recommendations based on how the user has answered. These recommendations have been codified and refined based on collective experiences and strategies of hundreds of companies that have embarked on the digital transformation with us. Let's take a deeper look into the 10 dimensions of Compass. The 10 dimensions are grouped into three core areas, vision, alignment, and execution. For any company looking to digitally transform their business with APIs, there has to be an ambition and a vision on where to go. A strong vision means the understanding of digital business models and the power of platforms and ecosystems in the context of APIs. 
In addition, a clear vision also requires a shift in mindset to solve problems and assess opportunities from a customer's perspective. A strong vision for APIs alone isn't enough. Shifting the whole organization requires the alignment from leadership to commit. This often means committing resources and budgets, as well as putting skin in the game and being accountable for targets and KPIs. Lastly, with vision and alignment, a lot can still go wrong without the ability to execute well. This comes down to looking at how modern the practices are for software development and whether there's the right level of talent in the organization. Lastly, a key component of scaling any digital platform, including APIs, is the ability to provide self-service and remove bottlenecks from the execution. Just using Compass by yourself isn't the approach. Like culture and leadership, it requires gathering people together to discuss and exchange ideas and really reach consensus. Oftentimes, our customers will facilitate or work with Google to facilitate a Compass workshop to either take the assessment together or discuss the results as a group. This could be with senior executives or with key lines of business leaders, with managers, or with digital teams. The goal here is to bring a diverse set of people representing different parts of the organization, especially from both business and IT. Together, the goal of the workshop is to build a common language around the terms platforms, ecosystems, and APIs to identify and evaluate opportunities and threats. As a group, debate and develop a view of the vision alignment and the execution in your digital transformation program and what success really looks like. Lastly, identify one of the two or one big rock the teams can move to make the highest positive impact. This is where leadership comes in to drive a change in the culture and digital readiness. So, throw away your old map. I, I can't find it anymore. Take the leadership role and bring teams together to make change. If you want more information, please check out the community for ebooks, articles, and other related topics. Thank you for watching.